trip to Exmouth, Western Australia, September, October 2023. First day, departing Adelaide, day one. What was the date of that? Uh, September the 10th, and Anthea stayed there over the night before, and she dropped us at the airport at 4.30 a.m. Where we caught QF 883 at 6.10 a.m., seat 17C. After a bit of a kerfuffle with the oversized baggage and getting it ticketed before you stamped it, before you weighed it, before you took it to the odd size baggage. That's right, that's right. And then on the flight, I remember I watched Little Mermaid on the Qantas app, made the time go a bit quicker. And then when we got to Perth, um, it was a really long wait for the bags. And then we paid $35 for a taxi that just took us round the corner. Um, to so the Maui van, to the THL group, where yeah. there was a line of angry people having to come up with $7,000 of real money, mm. not just a credit card implant, or upgrade to the high road insurance that covered everything. Which I think we not did in the end. Chance. Yes, we bought excess reduction from the RAA, which we had to cancel. Mm. Pain in the bum. Then we loaded up all our gear, packed up the van, failed to notice a chip in the windscreen. It took lots of photos of everything else and chuffed off to Lancelin via the, what shopping centre was it? Uh, we went to Bunnings, but we also went to Woolies at Yanchep and we Yanchep. found a little step, which was handy for getting in and out the um, van. And um, the beach at Lancelin was lovely and we stayed there for two nights at the Holiday Park um, and we were on a pad site, which was concrete, and boring yeah a bit boring but not many people there uh, we saw little bunnies by the bathroom and Is drunken the night we had tea on the beach i was just gonna say drunken bogans flying high when we had tea at the tavern which is the best outdoor beer garden in australia apparently oh, yes. um and, and it was we the football had... team what was their name they had a funny name yeah I didn't pirates have... or something nautical yeah and then we had 10 percent off our bill but we weren't sure whether or not it was off the bill or off the seafood platter. I don't know why we thought that, but maybe it wasn't very significant, the seafood platter. Mm. Anyway, we had a beautiful sunset and walk home on the beach, which was a lovely end to a very big day. Um, good getting Wi-Fi there. at the Lancelin Experience Holiday Park with five and a half megabits a second download and half a megabit upload, which was sufficient on our concrete block in the powered site. And it had a nice pool. But um, which we so went in the next day. Yeah, the next day, September the 11th. Well, hang on, let's end this day. Day two, Exmouth 2023, Lancelin. Uh, we were there on the Monday and uh, September 11, we woke to the birds chirping from a cosy night's sleep and Mike was doing a lot of planning to put a net in above our bed, which was all in the works um, for our next shopping trip. And we had coffee and really nice waffles for breakfast from um, a caravan outlet on the caravan park site, so that was nice. And then we had a swim Went and a to the spa. Pool with your fancy orange toenails. Yeah, which was lovely. Um, then we did a bit more shopping at a local IGA, which was a bit tricky to find or get into. But we um, found the op shop closed. Um, but we did find BWS, which was a good thing um, for our supplies for the trip. Back to camp, and we moved our camp to a non powered site right on the beachfront, um, site Number 180. 180. And we met a retired policeman and his dog, Princess, travelling around Australia for 18 months. And then we met a family from Melbourne who told us all about uh, their trip up north and reassured us that maybe Yardi Creek wasn't going to be quite so horrid as what we'd read in the reviews. Um, we had a barbecue for tea um, with a vodka cruiser that tasted like Barocca. Hmm, there you go. And a nice um, sunset on the beach. We did, and I started reading The Suspect. Um, and uh, I noticed a chip in the window of the car. Or was that the next morning when we left? Maybe it was. Mm. So at the end of day two? Day two ended being... Day three, Exmouth, 2023. 
from Lancelin to Geraldton via the Pinnacles. Yeah. So we left having taken a photo of the chip in the windscreen of the Maui van. Mm -hmm. I think by then we'd cancelled our insurance with the RAA, although their systems were down, that's right, because we had to reluctantly add another X dollars a day for our whole month trip to avoid finding $7,000, which we couldn't get in time. Thank you, THL Group, you mob of mongrels. Right, the Pinnacle's a lot posher than I remembered. Apparently we'd been there before. We had, and in the old time when we were there, apparently we drove around them. We did broggies. We did broggies around them. That's what um, Mike's brother Phil remembered, but um, I don't remember that. But it was very pretty and lovely light when we were there. And then we stopped for lunch at the Lobster Shack at What was the town called? Cervantes. That was a um, pleasant surprise. What an yeah. enterprise that Lobster Shack was. And the police officer guy that we met yesterday, he um, recommended it. And we had a delicious lobster roll and a lobster mornay, which was half a lobster. And you had live lobsters in the tank to choose from, with live scallops and mussels. Ooh, there they are, wriggling about. Hmm. There's a big lobster. And what did we have? Oh, I just said, lobster roll and a lobster mornay. But didn't we buy some lobsters? But then we also bought a lobster, which we had that night, which was delicious. That night or the next night? I can't remember. Yeah. Um, and then we went on to Durian Bay, and Mike went to the Mitre 10 proper shop. Oh, while well, you were talking on the phone. That's, that's right. right. And I was talking to Hope's support worker for... Uh, aged care on the phone not that we've heard anything from them since mm -hmm. um, and he bought PVC pipe measuring tape, saw that's a real hardware store Mike said to me anyway, right. so that was a good stop and then we went on to um, Geraldton and no we didn't have the lobster we bought that night we had risotto and nice? I had a nice phone call with only Joan Damon which was lovely I did enjoy that hardware shop. They let me cut my own lengths of PVC pipe with their saw, and I went back about three times. Mm. Bought all sorts of handy knickknacks that I still use to this day. And then where were we at? The Sunset Beach Caravan Park in uh, Geraldton. Big four, actually. And didn't we have an ensuite at the back, a brick building? We certainly did, and we were out, that was quite good in terms of being able to offload some of the things from the van, so we had a bit more room in the van for those. We were there for three three nights and it was Geraldton. useful when the weather whooped in which it did yeah and um, too long. we had some the, at the caravan park they sold really yummy tomatoes I remember they, we bought these uh, homegrown tomatoes that we enjoyed while we were there so that was good quite good Wi-Fi at the caravan park 23.9 megabits a second down six up and there's our little van oh that's a picture of the ensuite at the back of green brick building with all that junk inside. Oh, with all that junk in it. Near a roll of took paper. I remember. Yeah. And then, the, oh, that's the end of that day. That's actually. the end of day, what were day we? Day three. Day three. Day four, Exmouth 2023, Geraldton. So... Geraldton is a bit of a thorn in Mike's side, really, because every time we've been there, and this is our third time, he's not been able to windsurf. Um, and this time, it was no different. And not from no wind, but too much wind. It was ridiculous. We drove all the way to Coronation Beach, the windsurfing mecca, to see evidence of where windsurfers would be, but there wasn't a soul there, apart from two rather strange ladies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and How would you describe them? You describe oh, them I said before. toothless, toothless ladies with an amazing facial hair. That's right. Um, and one of them tried to get into our camper van for respite from the whooping dust. It was bad. So anyway, the, and the, our dear camper van, which we named Norma, she was in a bit of distress. A car assist kept coming on because of the wind um, rocketing her about everywhere. So. Um, so back to the city to do some shopping. Last shopping, GoPro, wine, food and bunnies again. That's where I got again. my wife. That's right, the GoPro from the local electronics store and the USB cable we needed. Quite a handy little shop. And then we had the lobster for tea that night. So two, Lobster. Two days of lobster uh, with some salads um, and did a little bit of laundry. I was both pretty pooped at the end of that day, but I've written in my journal, happy. 
There we go, and that's a screenshot of the wind, a 37 knot gust when we were at Coronation Beach and it only got stronger in the afternoon. In fact, Shane was driving from Perth and he said it was so stupid he had to pull over in his van. There's some of those lobsters. tomatoes that I mentioned. Oh, the tomatoes, oh, nice tomatoes. Yeah, delicious. Thank you, Mr. Lobster, for your flesh. Mm. There's our van with the ensuite showing in the sunny aftermath. Mm. End of day, what were we? Four. Four. Exmouth 2023, days five and six, Geraldton to Quabba. So we made the decision basically to leave Geraldton um, earlier than we had planned and um, start the drive north. Which and we so did. we did. We did our last kind of, you know, shower and packing and shopping and filling up with diesel and then ready for that long haul to Exmouth. And on the first bit of our drive, uh, there's no photos of this because they were too quick, but we spotted a goanna, an emu, and an echidna, which mm -hmm. was very exciting to see an echidna in its natural state. Um, and then we did the drive a long way off the main road to see the Skywalk at Kalbarri. Kalbarri. So we turned left on the road. That's where we saw the goanna, and we headed off to the Kalbarri Skywalk. Which was really specky, and I hate heights and edges, but I made myself go out there. You did it. And um, it was worth it. It was very spectacular. Lots of signs about the engineering and the archaeology. So Old Man River from Little Things, Big Things Grow, flooded by the sea. And you stick out right over the edge, and there's all these sunken gorges. Very pretty. It's a bit um, like a mini Grand Canyon, isn't it? Yeah. How the Skywalk was built. Interesting engineering. You can read about that. Oh, that's a toilet. Which there was is a not toot, one of the first bush toots we found. And then we went off to find our free camp and we achieved it, which was good. And, and where was um, it? Because it was quite it, There was a lot of people there. It was really packed. What's um, the name of the place? Quick. Um, Murchison River. Ah, oh, the Murchison River. Yes, yeah. there were a lot of people there. But one old man beckoned us in the park next to him. Oh dear, I know why. Why? Well, he was wanting a conversation. I think everyone was trying to avoid him. He was sort of a toothless old guy and he had his new Thai wife, the new little missus. Oh, this was the guy with the removalist van with a caravan behind him. Correct. And he had this big plan that he was oh, going to get rid of the van dear. and just live in the removalist van with no windows, no ventilation. Still, the Murchison River was lovely. We had a lovely night, slept well. Then we headed off. And what was the roadhouse we got to? Uh, With the guitars, the pianos, and the, uh, please, parents, these are not toys, picks and slides available at our counter. Yeah, and we thought of Dave Sly, I think, when we were there. I sent him a message, got one back, and that was before his bike accident. Yeah. So what was the name of that place? Something Roadhouse. I don't know. I've got it there, Roadhouse. Um, roadhouse. Uh, Billabong. Billabong, Billabong roadhouse. roadhouse. There you go. And we had coffee, poo, eggs and bacon roll. <laughs> because the toilets at the free camp the night before were pretty horrible. And this so. is where we set our rather high expectations of our morning poo, coffee, shower and provisioning. It didn't always work out the no, way we thought. We'll but anyway. Uh, and then at, we did the long drive then and we saw a cat, but I don't know, it was pretty large. I don't think mm. it actually was a cat. So we went through Carnarvon. We saw the dish. We took no photos. No, that's right. Then we went to Quabba. We did. And we hadn't realised when we were going there that this only just before we'd been there, um, this is where the little girl was taken oh, by the dear. man and kept in his house. And then a couple of weeks later, um, they discovered her. Um mm. Physically and her emotionally, I'm sure, scarred for the rest of her life. But um, we hadn't realised that was at Point Quabba. Um, Which was a bit feral. There were a bunch of was. shacks where they tried to dissuade the free campers from going near them. I know, it was very strange. But anyway, the good thing about it... So we pulled up at the beach next to this young couple in a high ace who we saw everywhere. We saw them in lots of different places um, at, up at... Um, Exmouth. They we, had a dog. Or they something. had a dog, and um, and she just found out she was pregnant. So it was all very lovely oh, talking very to them. Lovely. Um, and yeah, well, we stayed past the shacks in the middle of nowhere, but they got a bit feisty with fires and doof doof music. But we were not deterred. 
No. We had a lovely night. We had a lovely night. And um, lots of dramatic blowholes. Oh, wow. Um, and gorgeous ocean. And we were right on the beachfront. It was very windy, but very low tide when we were there the, um, that day. Not good um, for the aquarium. The windy was 17 to 19 mm. knots, south-southwest. Quite foilable, but I wasn't ready to go in the water on my own no. there. I didn't know the terrain. And we're excited about this, the aquarium, because it was meant to be, like, beautiful. So, Man, you um, snorkeled up and in she went I with the did, old GoPro. I did. I uh, did. That was actually the next day, um, oh, day it? seven, that I actually went in in the morning before, before we, we left. Before right. we left. Um, but um, one thing that was a bit of a disaster was that our fridge wasn't quite oh, cold enough. Chicken. And the chicken went off. So had then we bin. had to find the bin to get rid of it. Oh, oh, oh it was very, very tense. But Traumatic. anyway... We had a chilly hot pot instead, and that was lovely. And we sat out the back and watched the Milky Way emerge and lots of satellites, which was very exciting. And that was the end of day... Six. Six. To be continued with day seven. Exmouth 2023, day seven. Quabba to Exmouth. Saturday, September 14. 16. 16. Mm. So this day started with us going in the morning to Dive the aquarium at Quabba because the tide Quabba was Bay tight aquarium. and so there was water to swim which was lovely but it was quite windy that day so a bit rough and it stirred up the water but there were lots of fishies. Um, some inquisitive and others in and out of the coral just peeking at you. You use the old GoPro so you'll see some grainy old dull footage. Mm. The new GoPro had not yet been commissioned that was picked up in Gerald. No, and um, we got rid of the chicken surprise. Oh, that was a journey. And then we sat at the drive north. We saw a big eagle on the side of the road. Apparently. We didn't get any photos. Anyway, and then the long drive to Exmouth, which when we got there, we thought, Hmm, what a strange town. Very strange. We did a final shot because we didn't want to have to come back out to Exmouth. Did we go to the IGA? We went to the... Remember there were two shops opposite, there were opposite each other. Two IGAs, right there. Which is very Lime strange. Um, and... Found um, a little surf shop where I got my GoPro, GoPro handle. Yep, and we got some beer. And then... And along the way, I did the first GoPro time lapses, including one hanging off the... Uh, Passenger side door. Rolling on the right door. Out and along the bay. And then we arrived at Yardi Homestead and we'd heard horror stories You'd about it. read horror reviews. Oh, dreadful. Don't believe it. But that it was not as bad as what they said. I mean, sure, there were some days when the. Look, it was a shadeless dust bowl with only two amps of power, but other than that. And the toilet sometimes, didn't shower work. blocks didn't work. But that was fine. It did have a nice pool, though there were lots of people in it and it was very small. But really nice little um, cafe there for um, coffee nice. and food, which was good. It was adequate. But and it was cool at night, so it was merciful and it was all fine. Yeah. And tea, that night I cooked up chicken rice biryani and it was delicious. And we watched that Port had lost, which was very depressing. Um, my port power team who I love and then I think I drank too much champagne that night and I just put bed at the end of the day because I must have been like Phew, but done. we had to be up early for our whale shark diving experience with King's Tours correct which picks up on the rest of the videos you'll see that ad nauseum we may or may not get to doing an audio commentary from there on in but there we are end of day seven first week done out
Hey, close to me. Day. Pipes everywhere. Hello boys and girls, Hello. having a lovely holiday. Creek tour. I did. I did like the creek tour. What did you see? I saw this big lizard, the biggest lizard in Australia. I saw lots of different birds. I saw rock wallabies. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Very good. Off of Sandy Bay for a sail. Osprey Bay, park number seven, quite near the Toot and the Bins, and we're going to go for a snorkel adventure. Come with us. Lakeside, allegedly. What was it like? A bit shallow, a bit shallow. So we're at the lighthouse. She's terrified. I don't like it. Doesn't like it. There's your lighthouse. Where are we? We are at Lighthouse Point. Is that right? No, we're at the tip. End of the lighthouse road, there's Harold's tent.
those pesky kiters are out. Tide is out and going out. Probably not the right place to be today.
on a Friday afternoon. Totally behind, totally this year. Osprey Bay, our park, the toot and the bins. Scarcely enough wind to be working.
wait and see what that's all about. Not too bad of a day. Bay. No kite.
what do you call this uh, bobbing in the sea in the middle of I don't know where in the loose in the bluest water I've ever swam in Just had lunch at that little picnic table. Leaving our lovely free bush camp at the Fortesque River Road. A little bit of water there. Nice family, been on the road for months as part of a year, five of them in there. Three kids, a dog, two adults. Beautiful stargazing, perfect night with our mozzie net up. Had a lovely shower this morning. We're quite happy with that little find. Here we are leaving Maitland, the Maitland mail stop near the Maitland River. All it has is a chair and a road, very Maitland. <coughs> okay, onward to Caratha for our morning coffee, poop and fuel stop at a roadhouse. Note the fire and flames coming out of the chimney over there. Dampier. Dampier. Back to 
Karatha and there's lovely community displays in the salt mines. There you have Shah. Bob Marlin. Daffy Daffy. Look, the list goes on. We can talk. You will arrive at your destination. built-in biohazard, free 24-hour shopping. Stopping. 37.5 degrees, balmy. You have arrived. A little bit stinky in the cabin. And we've arrived. Let's have a tour. Okay, here we are at Canaldron, Cape Canaldron, the boat ramp site, three of three. We'll take it to each three. Mandy just used the lovely ablutions, oh. sadly without water. Very traumatizing. We'll now time. take you on a tour of the other campsites. Okay, this is the middle of the three sites at Cape Canoundrum. <laughs> ourselves to a breakfast and a poo in a nice clean water flush toilet and we're hoping we could bag ourselves an onion for tonight's barbecue the only thing we neglected to buy at the greengrocer as you can see we're a little disappointed very disappointed had we had internet connectivity last night we would have seen the red permanently closed notice next to this particular location Never mind, we had a nice stop at Car Cape Canaveral, Cardu, Cadofferin. Something. And we're now heading to our caravan park stop at 30 Mile Beach. 80 Mile, last, 80 80 mile, mile Beach. <laughs> last two nights in Norma the Bay. Back to two, the last one. Here we are at 80 Mile Beach. It's a caravan park. The misses, the walkway, makes Sandy Bay look a little bit small. Now it looks pretty shallow and milky and weird. 
This is Norma the van in dining configuration on our last day. We've almost had enough. Have we had enough? I think we're close to having enough. Yeah, close to having enough. We've got the air conditioner blaring, we're at the power side. We've got all the controls up here. The whizzers nice and clean. Thinking hot on the side of the road on our way to Broome, we've left the 80 mile nothing. It is 38 and a half degrees at half past 10 in the morning. And we've got about 250 k's to go to get to civilization in Broome. Come with us on the journey.